Hey, I'm Joey Such. I hope you guys are doing fabulous today. 2021 is here. The bar is super, super, super low at this point. We could have a meteor hitting Earth, and we'd be like, okay, any good news? No? Okay. I hope the meteor hits me in the morning. Well, he hate to spend the entire day working and being miserable, then just die. At least do it in the morning after my morning poop and shower. Please. For my first resolution is I want to improve my Instagram game. I want to have those photos that look super sharp with good colors. You know those photos where you don't even like the person much, but you have to double tap just because it looks so good. I could totally buy a better camera, but the hassle to carry a bulky camera around, to take photos when you have an iPhone. The iPhone takes good pictures for the most part. It's half lazy and half costly. I don't want to go out and spend a thousand dollars on a camera to take photos and videos a few times in a year. I mean, I would use it to make videos like these too, but it just wouldn't be worth it, you know, the value of it. I could use that money to buy a newer iPhone because I use it every day for a few hours, so I feel I get m way more value out of that purchase. That is one half of the puzzle to getting good photos. The other half is the color grading and filters and so on. An editor can spend hours on a photo and I am like horrible with colors. I will watch videos to replicate and it will look good on their end but it looks like hot garbage on mine. It could even be the exact same results. I think it had to do with personal standards. Our personal standards are way higher than others. We always gotta downplay ourselves for some strange reason. Also photos are really complex. You will never have the same photo twice, different lighting and even different colors. Some phones and cameras process their photos differently so the end result looks different. So it's hard to say, hey it's just these parameters. It can help a little bit but you gotta eyeball to see what works best and I am horrible with colors. I really really try to get colors theory right but man I am horrible. Maybe this year I will get it. Also everybody has a style or theme of photo. I am just all over the place. Also, it pisses me off when I have a really good or funny or inspirational caption and I get okay likes. Then the girl will post a selfie with a flower emoji and BAM! 500 likes. 40 comments. Most of them will be like from girls like, OMG! Beautiful! Miss you! Lots of hearts! Then one guy who is in a friend zone that doesn't know it yet. Someone who roasts her. Another guy who posted a lame pickup line and shooting his shot that is 0% successful to this day. The guy she's doing will never comment. Maybe in her DMs and her ex wanting to write something that realizes that she moved on. Second resolution is I want to travel. I think this goes for all of us. Even in my own city. I've been stuck in my room whether medically or just nobody to go out with and feel like a baby ready to see the world again. I love to see new stuff and take photos and even try to do vlogs. I tried one vlog and it's way harder than I thought it'd be. It's also a little difficult with me since I can't extend my arms out. So I can film outward, but it's hard to film me. Like you come to my channel to see me, right? Also, I have to get more comfortable talking to a camera in an outdoor setting. So like I would be talking to the camera, then my friend would be like, what? Also, I'm not friends with videography people so they have to get more comfortable around the camera. We can watch all the videos to get better at taking video, but we just need practice. I got my best friend and wants to see a lot of stuff. She's willing to drag my ass to places and be my personal photographer. I wish I had more friends to take pictures of us too. Maybe this year I will make awesome friends who I genuinely feel I have a future with and trust. I can't work hard to get there, but I can improve my chances by putting myself out there. Crossing my fingers, me and my best friend Arlene gonna take a huge step in our relationship and she'll learn how to take care of me. She is basically gonna help me go to the bathroom and see me naked. In normal circumstances, I will be 100% against it just because of respecting boundaries. It is one thing to see somebody naked or help them when they're intoxicated, but it's another to basically become a caregiver when we hang out. She doesn't have to do any of this and respecting the best friend's boundaries. We are going to be friends for a long time, hopefully, so this will take our friendship to the next level. I don't really want her to see me naked like this, but it will be so much easier in the long run. This allows us to hang out longer, weekend trips will be possible, 
and also I am not so stressed that I can't go to the bathroom when I am out with her. I am usually okay, but there's gonna be that one time where you just have to take a shit in the middle of Times Square. Do I wait it out and do weird stretches and walk weird till it goes away? Or do I have to look for a bathroom in the middle of Times Square and stress out and shit everywhere because ain't, I ain't ready and shit comes flying out? Or go home ASAP and end the outing because I just have to take a shit. Super blessed to have her in my life and to understand my cares and needs. One trip will already be to Boston. Having a severe disability like mine, sometimes hospitals or teams want you to take x-rays or CAT scans or medical stuff so they can analyze records for their studies. It improves their research and may be helping me medically in the future or even other people. A research team wants me to go to Boston. The important thing is they give you money to take care of lodging and transportation and food, so why not? I also like to make the most out of my day, so instead of just driving there and do stuff and come back the same day, it's a four hour trip, so why not make a weekend out of it? I haven't been to Boston in 15 plus years, plus I will be with my best friend, so anything we do is always a good time. We will definitely have other trips, but we'll plan when we get closer to the warmer months. We have no idea how the world will be in six months. It could be a wasteland from that meteor that killed us after my morning poop. Hmm. My last resolution is to stop giving people too many chances that wrong me. Like stop saying sorry if you did something wrong. It is fine to say sorry and be better the next time. A lot of people say sorry but keep doing the exact same thing over and over again. And it's like okay, we're all adults and people know exactly what they are doing. If you want to ghost, then ghost. If you want to be best friends, awesome. I will put effort in relationships that are worth it. I share vibes. I can be the best person you ever met, or I can bring hell on your ass. We gotta put boundaries up higher so we treat each other way better. I hope we all have a good 2021. Plans are in motion to be a good year. We got people getting vaccine shots. Everything is looking positive. With that being said, anything could happen. We just gotta take the cards we have and make the most of it. Who knows, there could be that meteor really hitting us. Let me know what your resolutions are in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you later.